The first time I had this thing fully assembled, I was just gobstruck by how big the thing was. I hope that they're really impressed by the size of the thing. One of the interesting parts was the history of this thing. It was a gift from the Japanese government. Rutgers was one of the first universities in the United States to actually diversify. And we accepted a group of Japanese students here. They were so very grateful that the university permitted their students to study here, that they did shower us with gifts, as well as our lovely spider crab. The crab was installed in the museum in 1896. It hung on the wall until 1980, and it went into storage. This was a much bigger project than I thought it was going to be. It was in really rough condition. It all had to be hardened. I had to do a fair amount of disassembly. This has been coated inside and out with plastic resin. It has an internal structure that will support it. I would not be at all surprised to see it last, you know, at least 100 years, possibly 200 years. Having the crab back here at Rutgers is really important because it enhances the collections that we already have and further increases our historic value. There's no other place that you can see some of these things in person. It's one thing to look at these items like a mastodon or a giant spider crab on a screen or in a picture, but it doesn't compare to see it in person because you don't have the full effect or the wow factor that you would have if you don't see it in person. It's important to the university because as small as it may seem, there's a story behind that display. Things that we're still striving to do today, diversity. Well, we started the idea of diversity and that's what this crab represents.